Hi again and welcome back to the video tutorial of Blender Prolog and Hyrule Logic Programming. This is the first video that explores an actual aspect of Blender Prolog and today we will be talking about types. Yes, I'm glad to see that you're as excited as I am. Now, first question is, how is a Lambda Prolog code organized? What does a Lambda Prolog file uh, look like? If you went to the frequently asked questions section, you might remember something about modular programming and its justification in foundational logic. This is the first big difference with Prolog. The code is organized in modules that can integrate each other according to a semantics that is dictated by the underlying logic. It's not just an implementation hack. But we won't see modular programming until around the last of these videos. Right now, we will only work on a single module and it will be more than enough. Furthermore, the code is split in two files. One file will hold the predicates or the facts and the inference rules uh, and will have the extension.mod for module. The other one will hold the type signature and will have extension.sig for uh, signature. So let's go ahead and create our very first Lambda Prolog files. Um, we will have, let's call them yay.mod and yay.sig. Notice that they have the same, they, they must have the same name. Um, all right, they also have a header. The module will have the header module, then the name of the file, so here yay dot, and the signature will have as header sig space, the name of the module, uh, so yay, and then dot. In the last videos, we made a predicate to represent the human property of someone. And for that, we made a unique predicate and we called it isMan. Um, now, say we want to represent the property that someone has a certain age, or rather the relation between a name and an age. So we will make a binary predicate for which the first parameter will be the name and the second parameter will be an age. So for instance, we want um, a certain person named Alan to be 23 years old. So we use a binary predicate has age. We give it as first parameter Alan, the name Alan, and as second parameter the integer 23. And this says that Alan has age 23. Notice that the, again, the name of the predicate starts with the lowercase and notice the syntax, name of predicate, space, first parameter, space, second parameter, and finally dot. Now a part of what I was hiding in the previous lecture was the type signature of the predicates. What sort of parameters can this predicate have? And that we must put in the sig file. Actually, a little teaser, we, we, can, we, we can play a bit with what to put and what not to put in the sig file, uh, which will give us the ability to abstract and hide some predicates, but we will not get into that before very long. For now, let's put all the types uh, in the signature file, starting with the type of has age. So I want to tell the system that the predicate has age has a certain type. For this, I am going to use the keyword type. Notice that the Tejas Mode and Emacs paint the keyword red. Uh, if you're not using a coloring editor or if you're uh, colorblind, uh, just remember that type is a keyword and as a keyword you cannot use it uh, as a name for your predicates. So we use the keyword type and then the name of the predicate we want to declare the type of here as age and then the type of the parameters uh, separated as you would see in um, a math class or functional programming by an arrow. So the first parameter is a string. The name Alan is just a string. Um, notice also how um, string takes this beautiful shade of green. This means that string is a built-in type, so you can use it without introducing it. Um, so let's go ahead and write arrow. The second parameter is, a f is an integer, so let's go ahead and write int, and notice that it also takes um, the um, color green. Um, a little bit more, more about ints, integers. Uh, integers, when you work with negative integers, uh, you will not write minus 1 and minus 2, but tilde space, let me emphasize that, space, 1. Um, and tilde, so no tilde 2 right away, you have to write tilde and then space and then 2. So keep it, keep it in mind in case you want to use negative integers. Uh, and while we're at it, we, see, we saw in the, the previous video the one-line comments using this. 
one line, and this is the multi-line comments. Right, it's not over. Remember, has age is a relation or a predicate, and predicates in Lambda Prolog have a special place and a, and a special type. That type is O. Um, so having the type O indicates that has age as a predicate. So what this line means is that um, the constant named has age, uh, if you give it or if you apply it to a string and then to an integer, you get a predicate, uh, things of type O. And they are special because they are the only thing that you can write in the mod file. You cannot, for example, write just Allen dot or 23 dot. You will get an error. Uh, the only thing you can write here is uh, the things of type O. Now, enough said about types for now. Getting back to the module, since we don't want Alan to be lonely, let's uh, give him a couple of friends. So let's introduce Dennis of age 9 and uh, Grace of age 9-2 and has age um, Helena um, of age 20. Right, let's go ahead and compile um, what we wrote. So uh, in the last video I asked you not to look at the commands. Let's talk about uh, how to compile um, a Lambda Prolog code. Oh, let's first of all save this and save this uh, and see that we have the yay module and the sig yay signature. Uh, the first command to know is the compiling command, tgcc. You give it the name of the module you want to compile, no need to write the um, extensions. All right, now I had an error here. Oh, module, sorry. Okay, and that will create, if we look again in our um, folder, that, that created an L, .lpo file for Lambda Prolog object. Uh, the next step of compilation is the linkage. So we're going to call on TG link, again with yay, and this will create the .lp file, dot .lambda prolog file. Right now this is just a, a formality because the linker's job is to link different modules together to produce one LP file and since we only have one module there's nothing to link but we have to call it uh, anyway to obtain the LP file. The next step is to call on TG sim with yay and this will load the top level of pages um, with with the um, module yay um, previously loaded. Right, uh, now let's go ahead and ask um, some questions to our program. Let's ask it, what is the age of Alan? And it will say, the answer substitution is 23. And it will ask us, do we want more solutions? Let's say, yes. But there are no more solutions. Alan is the only one that is of age uh, 23. We can also ask it, has age someone uh, nine? This means this is that by by writing this, we're asking the computer uh, if it knows anyone that is of age nine. And the first answer is well, Dennis is age nine. If you want a second answer, you can say yes, and say Grace is also age nine. Now ask it again, and it will say no more solutions. Notice here that um, we had, sorry, notice here that we used um, capital letter as first letter for someone and capital letter as first letter for age. This is because they are variables and like the constant has age that starts with a lowercase. All right, let's quit this now by the keyword stop dot. Notice that we're back into our folder. Let's clear this out and let's go back to our program uh, and do something a little more uh, elaborate. Now suppose you want to have a predicate that is only true for a person if that person is legally allowed to drink. 
let's call it is a fun person. No, just kidding. Let's call it can drink. That is true for a certain someone. If, no, no, no remember how we wrote if, uh, colon hyphen, uh, if the age of that person is greater than 18. Uh, notice again the uppercase for someone in age. These are variables. Um, right, two things. The first thing is I am using the greater than symbol. Actually, it should be greater than or equal uh, than 18. I'm using this symbol, which I can do because it's uh, a built in of Tejas. If you go to this website of Tejas, uh, Tejas manual, and then built ins, you have here the comparison predicates. Uh, the usual comparison predicates. You can also read uh, the rest of this section uh, for more information. Second thing is right now this variable age has no correlation with this someone. I have to establish the relation between the two and the way I do that is by saying um, first find the age of that someone so has age someone uh, age comma age uh, that so that same same name of variables age greater or equal than 18 this says try to find in our um, knowledge base try to find the age that is associated with the age that is associated with the someone that I'm given that I'm looking for using the relation has age uh, and then check that that age that you found this way is greater than 18. Now introducing the comma here. This is how we say and in Tejas. So this means basically that um, if someone has a certain age and that age is greater than 18 then uh, that someone can drink. So let's go ahead and declare the type of this new predicate. Can drink type can drink and it is a unary predicate that only takes a string so string and that would make it an O a predicate uh, let's save both and before testing uh, you might ask well this rule is not a simple predicate um, I thought you should only write things of type O well actually this little symbol here the reverse implication if you will is of type, uh, let me comment that, is of type O, arrow, O, arrow, O. So it's something that takes as a first um, parameter something of type O here, as a second parameter something of type O. Uh, and the reason is, so let's go ahead and write it, um, this has this type and also the comma has also that type. Uh, notice also that I'm putting a space um, between the name, the type and the arrow. Uh, you might get an error if you actually write this because it will think that this whole thing is a type uh, and it will, it, it's, it's not permitted. Right, so, uh, so actually what you're writing here is also of type O. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this. This is not saved, so let's save it. And then let's do the same um, uh, comment commands we did before. TGCC yay, TG link yay, and TG sim yay. Right. So let's ask it. Can Alan drink? And it's going to say yes. And you can also say, who do you know? that can drink. So we give it um, a variable starting with the uh, capital letter and it will say well Alan can drink you can ask it who else and it will say Helena can drink who else none because the others are nine years old. Uh, so to sum up we saw um, the, our first usage of types in the prologue with a small example and the next step will be list manipulations. I for one can hardly wait. Thanks for watching.